Reality Stone is going to say no. You get two less activations. Then it's going to cycle around. Bar Sinister. Oh! <laughs> Bar Sinister betrays them. We're going to have an entire board of Tiger Spirits. Yeah, She-Hulk is cute, but what about 11 strength Tiger Spirits? Have you considered those? <laughs> ah, what a beautiful psychedelic green and rainbow foiled board. Welcome back, my friends. In today's deck guide, we are breaking down a new face for Patriot, perhaps a negative Patriot deck. And if that doesn't have your attention yet, yes, we are running Super Scroll, and I am very happy with his position in this list. This hybrid deck revolves around creating the targets for Patriot to be able to buff all through spawn triggers, either the Mr. Sinister, the Brood, the Doctor Doom, or the White Tiger. We have Wong to be able to give us the extra activations of these token spawning cards, and we have the Mr. Negative just to make everything more energy efficient and really be able to pop off. We also have the Bass to be able to elevate the cards that we wish Mr. Negative had inverted if they get caught in our hand. Gives us that extra energy efficiency and something great for a Mr. Negative deck to use on turn one. The Zabu will allow us to cheat our crucial four cost cards to the board early. <laughs> Maybe I hesitate to put Super Scroll in the position of Crucial, but both the Wong and the Mr. Negative really are our paths to victory here. The Mystique can clip on to these ongoing abilities, either in the Wong or the Blue Marvel, to be able to lend a great deal of power, and in the crazy situations where Super Scroll is guiding us, then the Mystique can actually clip on to the Super Scroll and be able to let us leverage even more of the opponent's ongoing effects against them. Of course, the Mystique can also very happily clip on to the Patriot, and if we don't find our Mr. Negative, we can just run a straightforward Patriot game plan where we try and spread our buffs and be as efficient as possible. To talk a little bit more about the Super Scroll, he's here because so much of the Thanos ongoing decks can get turned against themselves with the Super Scroll to dramatic effect. There's been a bit of a meta resurgence of some other ongoing archetypes right now, so I really do like Super Scroll, but he is just, he's a hes a stark meta read, and right now I really like him. Of course, if you wanted to trade him out at the same price point, you could just bring in the Shang-Chi to be able to leverage additional control against the opponent. You could have Shuri for some wacky combos with the Wong, though you don't have any really large targets to be able to get doubled in power, and you have the Hawk as your really safe bet is something that between fast and negative is always going to be able to find decent value. Diving in here for our showcase, and it looks like we have a very straightforward Patriot opening hand. A very good opening hand with the Patriot into the Mystique. We could hold them for the final, or we could try and squeeze them in. I find it's usually best to play them on curve, because we bring so much power in terms of what they want to buff on turns 5 and 6, rather than sitting back and waited the way that the, um, the Valkyrie Patriot deck has been recently. We'll go Zabu here. So we've got the deck list up above if you want to talk any card substitutions, deck optimizations. You can always leave me a comment down below. I read all of those. Love chatting. Anything to snap with you guys. And the Mr. Negative deck especially has been a favorite of mine. It is so flexible. I'm always fascinated by how people like to tweak it around. And there's just so many different options that you can go to. It killed me a little bit. Not to bring the Iron Man. This is probably the first Mr. Negative deck. Well, one of the first Mr. Negative decks. Um, that I was not running Iron Man. But I was finding I was just getting a little bit more mileage out of the Blue Marvel. With all the bodies that we'd love to create here. We go, Patriot. I'd love it if you pick up the buffs here. We're gonna get so many white ti uh, tiger spirits. They cycle the Shang-Chi. Or a Magneto. No disruption against us. We don't have control against them. We're just going to have to outrun them. With all of these buffs. There is the negative, but I don't think that I go to that. I think instead we play just Mystique. And have things open for the four Tiger Spirits to be able to jump out at them. Yeah. It's tough. I wish that I could see into the opponent's hand. I can't wait. Well, there's likely going to be a card that would allow us to see into the opponent's hand, right? Or at least parts of it. I feel like that's an effect that just makes sense with the other All things that we have go. in Snap. But then you could say whether or not Super Scroll would be able to get better value than the, the Mystique here. Alright. Tiger Spirit is all in your hands. Who would have thought? All the way up here. 
series four almost complete, a ton of series five cards, and it's still a long white tiger that's putting in the mileage for us. Reality Stone is gonna say no, you get two less activations. Then it's gonna cycle around. Bar Sinister. Oh! <laughs> Bar Sinister betrays them. We're gonna have an entire board of Tiger Spirits. Yeah, She-Hulk is cute, but what about 11 strength Tiger Spirits? Have you considered those? <laughs> ah. What a beautiful psychedelic green and rainbow foiled board. Zabu, Patriot, Blue Marvel, and the Wong. I would really like to be able to showcase the negative getting to the board in here somewhere. We can always hope for the top deck. Uh, particularly next turn though. Want to get him out as early as possible. I'll go Zabu. And I wouldn't be too opposed to just filling the vault with the Broodlings early. We can add so many additional, so much additional power through Marvel and Patriot. We can surprise the opponent there. Range Academy. Don't love it. Do I want the Wong? They're Shuri and they must be happy with what's coming around. I think I'll just brood here. They fill it with a hidden card. A hidden one cost? But why? Why would you hide the one cost? I will negative and then I will fast does pick up the Patriot by two points, the Wong by one point. I think I just hold. I do want the flipped cards. We get two great draws here. They're saying that they can beat us on the other two lanes or maybe they think they're actually winning on mid. Mm, let me tell you my friend, you are not winning on mid. Um. The Super Scroll would act as an invisible woman. <laughs> Something that I had not really considered. Um, bringing. Fascinating. I think I just blew Marvel here. I'm gonna wait because uh, if they shuri into the Red Skull, right, then the Super Scroll's looking pretty dumb. Or if they shuri into Typhoid Mary, he's looking even worse. Blue Marvel just giving a little bit of counteracting power. Yes, yes. Mystique is able to copy. That will give us the buff here on the left. Then. And with six energy. I don't know. I don't have too much to be able to play down. <laughs> yeah, so I go plus two to neg one, which would be a tie. I guess I do play the Super Scroll to the left here. And then like the Patriot. And the Bast for a point. Three cards. That means it's not She-Hulk Taskmaster. It is instead... Zoop. Patriot. 18 point She-Hulk. The Cosmo is too late. The Daredevil is not enough. And it was the Ebony Maw. Taking him down in the mid lane. Victory. Ooh, topping the Shuri. That's normally our worst matchup because of the Super Scroll not really being um, any benefit. He's dead weight. Zabu, Patriot, Blue Marvel, and then our White Tiger. What kind of game can we piece together here? We get a lot of rearranging options. We'll open Zabu, hoping to be able to top deck something. If we just find the Wong... White Tiger, Doctor Doom, they'd be happy with that as well. Everybody rocking the rocks. It does make sense. Wolverine, I'm immediately bothered because it means you're likely Galactus. Though the Super Scroll able to latch on to the uh, Null is hilarious. Let's go Patriot over here. Jam some cards. Electro, yep. Looks like it's Galactus. I don't think we're going to win this one. Galactus is so annoying. If I super scroll and then I pick up the um, the electro restriction, so we're not doing that, at least not yet. 
I will Mr. Sinister. He will grab the buffs. They blow the Nimrod. They're setting up. They have everything. Though they should have... Uh, yeah, because then it moves. So they play Galactus here and they get the double Nimrod as well. Double Nimrod into the Wolverine on the turn 6 Galactus. Which means my Super Scroll will likely never have a good chance to be able to activate. That'll be 5, 10... Um, we know exactly what they, they produce. They have 16 points. I have to be able to beat 16 points. I don't think we have a shot. Though... If we're playing for the outside chances, it's Wong here. So that White Tiger Doctor Doom comes in and then we can stack Bifrost with our larger bodies. The pro like, Galactus really trivializes our deck. The Destroyer. And then they pop the Nimrods. Are you just... Am I going to get showed up by Nimrod Destroyer too? They did ramp it. We get the White Tiger. They go wave. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go mid. Please go left again. That means our Doctor Doom is not so pretty. Still... I would be able to add 10 to 19. No, because they're buffed by the Patriot. Each Doom bot is a 7. I'm adding 14 plus the 9. It's not enough. No. I am a point short. If I blew Marvel. If this Tiger Spirit had God to the left. Oh, it's so frustrating. I'm not counting it wrong, am I? There's no other extra buffs. It's just the Patriot. Two seven point Doom Bots to 14, so it would be 23, a point short. A point short. I have no chance at Bifrost. Then I would have to look at how to win Grand Central. Best way to be able to win Grand Central would be like Doom over here to add the seven. And then just like, I don't know, play make believe that he wouldn't be able to beat me adding seven points over here. Four cards in hand. I mean, he just has like Doc Ock. He could even maybe Galactus. To st no, the Galactus I don't think would beat the 16. We retreat here. Man, one point, one point. If we'd gotten any other mass buffs to the board, we could have shocked him. Oh, there goes the black cat out of the camp, Lehigh. Bye. I wonder what the deck would look like if you rewrote it to what it looked like when Surfer was in his heyday. You cut um, probably the Mr. Sinister and the White Tiger to be able to include Debris Surfer. Could be a very interesting list. And I think that it could still work. We'll buff up the Brood, the Patriot, the Super Scroll here just a little bit. Hiddly buffs on the side. Nothing too dramatic like being able to hit Mr. Negative, but I'm still happy with it. Then we get Shuri's Lab. Okay. Hmm. I like the idea of getting Patriot up to a 6. I'll take it. Swordmaster double hits. Oh, but it got there. Hella. And the Magneto. Do you have a comeback mechanic? Do you have the... Um... It's too tempting not to do it. Just drop the Wong to the Comertage. Are they going to have the Ghost Rider to be able to revive the Hella? And then still run the entire train on us? They certainly could. The Super Scroll grabbing Morbius is just... um, It's cards that you discard, right? Not cards that are discarded. Yeah, you discard. So, Scroll is not going to be able to eat up on the Morbius. Scroll might be able to gobble up that uh, Iron Man, though. Fascinating. What do I want to do here? I think I brood. Even though we set up the Wong for all the extra spawns, I don't hold Tiger or Doom. The brood here is going to be able to grab the buffs. They Juggernaut. All right, it wouldn't have been able to stick to Wong anyway if we tried to play something down mid. Keep it up with the Morbius. And there's a white tiger. It's perfect. We're going to get a lot of power. They also are going to be able to play a big body to Shuri's lab. Guaranteed. They go mid? You go mid? What are you playing mid for? You think that you're just going to win on... Who kills from the gambit? Okay. 
and it's buffing the Morbius. They're good hits, they're good hits, but uh, didn't get the Morbius up high enough. So here is the deck in all of its glory. It's very fun to be running all the on reveals alongside the Patriot. I think that the Valkyrie Patriot and the Ultron Patriot lists are still going to edge this one out, but maybe there's some more fine tuning that we can do in here to be able to let this one punch up just a little bit harder. If you guys have any sharp ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys do pick the deck up, then I hope it earns you many cubes on your climb up to infinite. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Keep on snapping.